Hello again, Doc on the Clock with more! Mega Man 5, Ridley X Hack 4! Two stages left to go to, well, I mean, I can go to these ones again, but where would I? We'll go to Charge Man. We'll get his also lackluster weapon. Oh, okay, it's Pharaoh Man. Is that sand safe? Have to test. Yes, it is. I mean, you never know. It could have been instant death. I've played games like that before. This game hasn't been that nasty, but, you know, in theory, it could be. Really? I was holding up. Okay, let's try that again. See, I'm just making room for the extra lives that are inevitably going to drop on my head. See, why didn't that happen last time? Answer me, Mount Sabeel, why didn't that happen last time? Not gonna answer? Estonia to death. And people say Power Stone isn't a good weapon. Look, I don't like to be that guy, but get good. If you wait, good things will come to you. And, you see, extra life. It was inevitable. There's a certain level of tragedy in the fact that if you completely ignore its gimmick, Crystal Eye is actually pretty decent. <laughs> like, just as a straightforward shot, it has a fairly large degree of power. <laughs> Didn't slide the right way. It just is... the bouncing effect of it is... Absolutely not worth the time. But that also means it has, like, no ammo, too. Because... It's kind of expensive. Oh, we have crystal droppers. And they're going to keep me from picking up that weapon energy. Wow, okay. This looks awful. How am I even how am I supposed to even get out of here? That way, I guess. It doesn't feel good. Crystal droppers do not want me getting my ammo back. It's almost like they are trying to make my life harder. I hope, unfortunately for them, helpful pickups just laying around are making their lives harder. Uh, 
Uh. Oh boy. This one has to go up, because otherwise I can't even proceed. Jeez. Okay, I was supposed to wait there. I didn't wait there, but I managed to survive anyway. Also, I know this is Charge Man stage, but why are there trains in a pyramid? Whoa. Okay. You are annoyances. Nepalm Bob, why are you so bad? All right, Charge Man. That's way too far away. Yep. Okay, if I'm walled off here, then I'm basically done for. Oh, why'd you suddenly rush at me? You've stopped every single time! I do not consider that one my fault. He had established a pattern and then he broke it. I am just so bad. At dodging those coals. Okay, that one I really couldn't dodge. There we go, finally. It's not that hard. It's a single projectile dropping from the top of the screen. And we get Charge Shirk. Another weapon I'm probably never going to use. Or almost never, anyway. That didn't take too long, so let's go and take care of Wave Man. Also, I don't want to end, end up having a reason to double up on stages going into a fortress. Oh, you're going to be unreachable, are you? Take this! And people say Power Stone's not a good weapon. Take notes. This is how you use it effectively. Oop. Whoa! Okay, this is getting a little bit spammy here. Aim is as bad as all ever. That is not Power Stone's fault. After all, we all know that my aim is Doc Aim. Which means you can rely on it to be unreliable. Yep. 
Okay, this is annoying. Just out of reach. Oh, jeez. Okay. That was an entirely accidental slide, and I thought I was dead there. Okay, I'm going to regret staying on this. Uh, well, regret is a strong word, but... I definitely don't want to be on that first. There's absolutely no penalty to just sitting on this one and riding all the way up, so why not? <laughs> Probably could have used, like, you know... Um... Actually, you know what? No, I'm going to take it back. I don't need anything there to make things difficult for me. I make things difficult enough for myself as it is. Let's make things less difficult for myself. My dawning super arrow. Hey look, it does have a use. Actually so far in this in these couple stages since I've had it, they've given me a couple of points where super arrow is very, very beneficial. Places where just no other utility is going to cut it. But now, I don't need to think about utilities at all, because... We're going jet sled. Whoa! Oh! Oh, well, that's an extra life I'm not getting. Oh. Uh, as usual, somewhat chaotic. Unusually, it's super spammy. It's like, yeah. So many enemies. I don't just pick up sit in the middle of the water. I mean, I'll take them, even if I don't need them, but... All right. So it's very dark in here. What the... Droppers? What? Uh, these are not water enemies! This is totally wrong, you have violated laws and physics and all sorts of things. Laws and physics and creeds and... And my right to life. Because that just killed me. At least they're good about dropping extra lives and dropping dolphins on my head. Ah, too early. I just want to jump over. Oh. Oh. 
Ah, health! That was awfully rude. Hopefully we don't have to deal with that again. Uh, you know what? It's not worth it. All right, wave man. Why didn't you jump high that time? Ah. Ah, I got cornered because well, I came in with half health, so. If I was going to have trouble, it was going to be that. The problem is, Wave Man might jump high, or he might not jump high, and there is no tell for whether he's going to do one or the other. If he doesn't jump high, I'm not even sure how to dodge him. High jump is usually pretty easy to dodge, as long as you're not getting hemmed in, but... The low jump... not the same. All right, well, that takes care of that. Next time, on to the castles. That's all for me for now. Until then, this is Doc. I'll see you later.